Hey, peeps! Guess what we're doing today? What are we doing today? Actually, I know what we're doing today. I've come <laughs> up with it. You don't know what we're doing today. I just told you to sit here and to be. Uh, He's like, just come in the office, Teresa. Sit here, be pretty. I'm like, I gotta I'm ask like, you. I'm like, oh, you need me to be pretty for. <laughs> So, but now I see a pad and paper. I'm like, uh, this has nothing to do with my looks. Yes, I need you to put your hand up and say you'll say nothing but the truth and all but the truth. Oh God. <laughs> Is there a Bible? <laughs> I just want to ask you some questions. Ooh. You know, we just, we just want to know more about you, but this is going to be more related to a little bit more business and your life. And maybe you can help give us some tips and maybe some guidance, especially to a lot of us that are young and don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Cause Fab wants to stay young. Mm -hmm. He wants to stay dependent upon his parents, mm -hmm. but yet he wants his freedom and his space. <laughs> So Does that sound familiar to any kid out there? <laughs> <laughs> they want to make all the money in the world. They want to have their own place, but they want their parents to still pay for everything. Yes. <laughs> Do you know how? I, that's my first question. How can I make that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're already making that happen. <laughs> Except you haven't moved out into your own place yet. You're still living at home. Right. I need to write down. You're actually kind hand. of going from home to home. Yeah. <laughs> Have you moved yet? No, not yet. <laughs> this weekend though. You're just waiting till the last minute. <laughs> I'm waiting till they just kick, kick. They're like, uh, everything's out of the house. Yeah, until I see my stuff on the curb, then I'm like, okay, now it's time. <laughs> but I do have 10 questions here. Okay. If you can answer them, we're gonna start with number one. Okay. Advice to tell your 20 year old self. Ooh. If you could tell that 20 year old girl some advice, what would you tell her? I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I'm telling you what guys, this Skillshare is just amazing. It's an online community learning center. I mean like you can learn anything. Like if you want to learn things about YouTube, if you want to learn things about anything, I'm telling you, I found a class. It's called Discovering Success, Seven Exercises to Uncover Your Purpose, Passion, and Path. I'm like, hello, like I could probably have taught the class <laughs> because you know me, I'm like so full of motivation and everything. But what's so cool about it is this class is about an hour long and it has every category in it, like rethinking success. We should all rethink success every few months or every six months, every year. We should all rethink success because life changes. We need to reschedule, rethink. We need to reevaluate all the time, guys. Um, break free of your expectations. How many times have we had expectations and we get mad because something doesn't happen the way we want it to happen? Why do we get mad? Well, because we have these expectations of how it should have happened. Well, it didn't happen that way, so now I'm mad. Like, oh, come on, give me a breath. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I could have taught this class, but I was so glad I watched it because it gave me another point of view from someone else. And it just fits right in with my motivational Mondays. I mean, it's just, I'm telling you what, it, it, whether you're a dreamer, a dabbler, if you're creative, if you're just curious, you are gonna find so many different classes through Skillshare to be able to further your interest, further your passion, further anything that you're doing in life. I mean, it's amazing. And I'm telling you what, guys, the first thousand subscribers of mine that are gonna click on this link will get a free trial month free from Skillshare. So you can check out their classes. You can do everything for an entire month. You'll get a free entire month. If you're one of the first thousand subscribers to click on the link below, you will get a free trial run of Skillshare to figure out if it's for you. I mean, I, it's for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, wow, another place for me to learn more. Like, you can never learn enough in life, people. And, you know, how many times have we all, like, gone to YouTube and tried to figure things out through YouTube? Here is an online class, an online community, where it's got millions and millions, hundreds of thousands of, of different classes to help teach you anything you want to know. So it doesn't matter what skill level you are, it, it, whether you're a beginner or whether you're a pro. I mean, I could almost list myself as a pro because, I mean, like, like I said, I could have taught the class, you know, but 
it, even if you're just a beginner and you just want to dabble around and try to figure out and, and find classes on confidence, how to build your confidence, uh, classes on money management, I'm like, it doesn't matter. Skillshare has the classes and the workshops for you. And like I said, if you're one of the first thousand subscribers to click on the link below, you will get a free trial month to just try it out and see what you think. You can't go wrong. Amazing classes, guys, amazing classes. So thank you once again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Don't be afraid of failure. Don't be afraid of failure because, oh Lord, failure at least shows you're trying. And I think sometimes younger people are so scared to show that they failed at something because, oh my God, what will their peers think? And, oh my God, it's not cool to fail at anything. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is actually. You know, I mean, like if you take any wealthy person, rich person, uh, successful person, anybody that's at the top of their game, they weren't always at the top of their game. They, okay, look at Thomas Edison. Did he invent it, didn't he invent the light bulb? Mm -hmm. Okay, it took him 10,000 tries to finally invent the light bulb. That means he failed 9,999 times. But yet he didn't look at his failure. He looked at it as though it took me 9,999 times to figure out why the light bulb didn't work. And then it finally worked, mm -hmm. see? So he never looked at those 9,999 times as failure. He looked at it as figuring out why the light bulb didn't work. So every time you fail at something, you shouldn't look at it as failure. You should look at it as you learned why that didn't work. So now you need to make sure you don't make that mistake again and try a different way that may work. So message to my 20 year old self would be, don't be afraid of failure and don't be afraid of success. Because some people are afraid of success. It, it is a little scary. You would know, right? Because <laughs> I mean, can you just? I mean, well, um, let's let's t let's take some social media influencers or YouTubers. Some people have gained fame so fast that they didn't know how to deal with it in the right way at the right time, and it went to their head, mm -hmm. and they bought things they shouldn't buy. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm just saying, you know, it, it's like the it's like the professional athlete that gets that multi million dollar salary right mm -hmm. off the bat they get drafted right the best thing their parents and they don't but the best thing their parents could do is set them up with a good financial advisor to advise them on how to spend that money save that money and invest that money but most of the time it's just the parents going <laughs> our kids are professional athlete buy me a house buy me a car mm -hmm. <laughs> and then before you know it that athlete's career is done over with he's hurt and he has nothing Right. That's really sad. So I think, you know, don't be afraid of success, but be prepared for success. Because when success happens, you need to make sure you are handling it in the right way. Yes. Question number two, will you be my financial advisor? <laughs> <laughs> aren't, I al a, aren't I already? <laughs> is that a service you offer? <laughs> Is that under coaching calls? Uh, aren't I your second mother? <laughs> no, but my question You my get that service for free. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Very true. Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> my second question is, your greatest achievement in life? In this life? Ooh, in this life? Because mm -hmm. I've been here many times. Yes. <laughs> That's what I've been told. <laughs> People that read my tarot cards tell me I've been here many times before. Um, I don't think anybody should ever be defined by having only one life achievement. I was sitting in Damon John's office in 2015 and he asked me that exact same question. And I didn't want to say, ooh, my greatest life achievement's being a mom. But I didn't want to say, ooh, my greatest life achievement's being a successful business owner. So I was like, ooh, but then what else? Oh, well, I was Miss US Open in bodybuilding. I was Mrs. Texas. I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I mean, like, I, I, I just kept going, look at all these things I've done that I've achieved. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow. So I think, I don't, I don't think you should ever be defined on, on only having one great life achievement. I think you're allowed to have many, which I've had many, and I plan on having many more. So when people want to compare me to 
some people out there mm -hmm. that maybe have just recently been successful in the last five years or something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, please. <laughs> My success has gone way back mm -hmm. into the 90s. I'm like, you know, I've, I've had years and years and years, and I've had many, 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 many things I've been successful at. So it wasn't just being successful with makeup or being successful with YouTube or being successful with this. I mean, I have been so successful at so many things in life, and I don't think you should be defined by having just one. You're a lot of many. Yes. Question number three, biggest regret. Do you have any, do you have one? I really don't think I have any regrets. Um, you know, when my son passed away, um, someone said, you know, do you have any re regrets with your son? And I said, no, I feel like I was the best mother I could possibly be to my son. But in that single moment, I also thought, if I had to have a regret, I wished I would have spent more time with him. But you know, when you're a single parent raising children and you're divorced and you're trying to split your time with the ex and you're working your butt off and sometimes you had four jobs, sometimes you're a health club owner. You know, if when you're, when you're in business for yourself, there is no set hours. You are working sometimes around the clock. And sometimes your children have to take the brunt of that because you're trying to provide for them. You're trying to put food in their bellies. You're trying to give them clothes and bicycles and the, you know, the best of what you can possibly give them. And so if I, if I ever had a regret, which I don't because I'm not going to beat myself up over it, is I wished I would have had more time with my son or I would have given him more time. But when you're a single parent and you're just trying to make ends meet and do the best you can do, you know, there's a lot of single parents out there watching this. Sometimes you're just working your ass off. And it's not until you lose a child or something like that, you, you go, wow, can't get that time back. Okay, so question number four. In the last 30 years, who was your worst employee? Well, it wasn't you, Fab. <laughs> Saved by the bell. I'm over here hanging with my notebook. <laughs> I'd have to say, uh, <laughs> oh Lord, oh it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't what you think. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'd have to say my worst employee ever in the last 30 years was uh, someone that worked in my health clubs, um, someone that I thought I could trust, and someone that I put in charge of my pro shops, uh, ordering all the supplements, taking care of everything that was selling in the pro shops, and when he started ordering the stuff through my company, but having the stuff delivered to his house and sold at his house. What? I was like, when I confronted him, I was like, wow, why would you do this to me? Like you, I loved you, you were a great employee, I trusted you, and he said, I just wanted a piece of the pie, I saw how much money you were making. Uh, uh. Yeah, so once again, you can trust your employees, but sometimes they are not trustworthy. They will stab you in the back. I will not say his name. <laughs> evil. Evil, evil, evil. Yep. Question number five. Yes. Your greatest revelation. That I should have hired you five years ago? <laughs> <laughs> um, whew, my greatest revelation. Mmm. My greatest, my greatest revelation is that I realized I can do it all. You know, sometimes we don't allow ourselves to think that way. We think, oh, I can only do this much. Mm -hmm. But I think my greatest revelation came when I realized I can do it all. Yes. I'm capable of doing it all. I just have to have time management. I just have to, you just have to be able to manage your time. And you have to prioritize and, and what's, more important will get done first and what's least important will get done last but you can do it all you just have to believe in yourself yes i just wish there was more than 24 hours of a day i know right we're all allowed the same 24 hours it just depends on what you do with that 24 hours scrolling scrolling <laughs> that's fab question number six 
What is your biggest challenge right now? How to get more done. <laughs> 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 like you said, what? We only have 24 hours and yeah. I have to sleep some of that time. <laughs> um, I think my biggest challenge is trying to figure out how to stay ahead of it all. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm always trying to not predict, but try to figure out what's coming next so that I can kind of get ahead of it. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, what's the next, what's the next fad? What's the next thing that's going to be, you know, trending? Mm -hmm. What's the next, you know, instead of going, oh shit, I finally did this 10 years late. <laughs> um, I think, I think that would be it. That's good. Yeah. One question I do have is, who is this Gucci giveaway winner? Yes! Woo! Gucci giveaway, Gucci giveaway! Yes! Oh my god, we had so many entries, guys. A lot. <laughs> Thank you for picking me. I'll go ahead and take both. <laughs> yes, you have to have a matching set. <laughs> so, first place went to a woman. Her name is S.J. Muncy. Woohoo! Uh, her Instagram name is S.J. Muncy. So anyways, she's first place winner. Yes. Okay, and second place winner goes to Evan Zors Official, and he gets second place the wallet. Yes. Yes. Now, what do you think about that? Congratulations. 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 Must be nice. Cha 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 cha. <laughs> <laughs> so, congratulations to both winners. We will be contacting you shortly so that we can mail out your stuff to you. Question number seven: Are you scared? A failure. No, no. Now there was a time in my life when I was younger, I was, I was, because I was such a perfectionist and I'm still a perfectionist, but now I've come to learn over the years with experience that failure shows that you're trying. So it, it took me a lot of experiences to figure that out, that, that failure at least shows that you're trying, you just you don't you just don't want to keep making the same same failure mistakes mm -hmm. like when you make a failure you learn a lesson from it and try to avoid doing that again you try to figure out a different way to do it so you don't fail again right. but every successful person in this world i don't care if you're rich billionaire super good business person i don't care what you are like i said i mean like look at how many times thomas edison failed with the light bulb and he never gave up he kept doing it trying it trying it trying it and then he became famous just like that. Yep. Question number eight. How do you keep reinventing yourself? You know, I had somebody say at my last class reunion, God, you've changed. And I'm like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if I'm still that naive little dumb 18 year old? Right. That I was when I graduated from high school. Actually, I was 17 when I graduated. But I'm just like, you know, I've always told you my favorite book, Who Moved My Cheese? Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about life and change and how things constantly change. And if you don't adapt to change, you just get left in the dust. One of the greatest things that happened last year was the pandemic, okay? There were so many older people that were not tech savvy last year, okay? Guess what they learned last year? They learned how to FaceTime. They learned how to do a Zoom. Why? Because they wanted to see their kids, their grandkids. They were all sitting alone in their homes. All they wanted to do was see their family. So they learned how to do Zooms and how to FaceTime. Hallelujah. These were people that were very, not very tech savvy, mm -hmm. but they learned. So it's never too late to learn. It's never too late to reinvent yourself. It's never too late. If you're doing this and you don't like it, reinvent yourself, come over here and do something different. I mean, for God's sakes, you got one life. You better be happy in that one life because you don't get to come back and try it again. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is the real deal. And when we're done, we're done. It's over. Curtain closed. <laughs> That is it for the question and answer of this portion. Yeah. Thank you. Woo. Thank you for coming in. You did well. Testified, we'll you, testified under oath. <laughs> we'll send you your test scores. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Motivational Monday. I hope you got a message out of this somewhere, out of the advice that I threw at you today. 
Uh, thank you, Fab, for coming up with such fabulous <laughs> questions. If you guys have any other questions, leave them in the comments. Yeah, so leave your comments below. We're always open to answering more and more questions all the time. We'll, we'll do another Q&A here real soon, I'm sure. So with that said, guys, another Motivational Monday in the books. Get out there and find me everywhere. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, bye-bye.